Hello, I am Judge Natasha DePrimo, a county court judge in the 17th Judicial Circuit in Broward County. A small claims case is a legal action filed in county court to settle minor legal disputes among parties where the dollar amount involved is $8,000 or less, excluding costs, interests, and attorney fees. Forms that have been approved for statewide use are located within the Florida Small Claims Rules. The clerk of the court may also be able to provide you with copies of appropriate forms. A small claims action begins by filing a statement of claim with the Broward County Clerk's Office. Filing fees for small claims actions are established in the Florida statutes and local county ordinances and are subject to change by legislative action. The clerk of court will be able to provide information on filing fees. After filing, each person or business being sued, the defendants, must be served with a summons or notice to appear in court on a date and time scheduled when the initial claim was filed. Currently, because of the limitations imposed due to the COVID-19 pandemic, these appearances are being held by means of video conference or other remote technology. A copy of the statement of claim should be attached as provided in the Florida Small Claims Rules, so the person or business being sued knows what relief the person bringing the lawsuit, the plaintiff, is suing for. Additional fees are required for service of process on the parties being sued. Generally, service of process will be made on the defendants by the Broward County Sheriff's Office. In Broward County, the Clerk of Court will schedule a pretrial conference at which all parties must appear via video conference or other remote technology. If the defendant or defendants have been properly served and fail to appear at the pretrial conference, the plaintiff may be entitled to a default and a default final judgment. The judge presiding at the time of the pretrial conference may ask questions or require the plaintiff to produce documents in support of his or her claim including proof that the defendant or defendants are not in the military service. The court may prepare the judgment for the plaintiff. However, the court does not collect the judgment for you. The clerk can provide you with information regarding the recording and collection of your judgment, or you may wish to engage counsel for that purpose. The Broward County Bar Association does have a low cost lawyer referral service that you may wish to use. If the plaintiff or plaintiffs and the defendant or defendants both appear at the pretrial conference, the presiding judge is likely to schedule a mediation with a trained mediator. The mediation service is free to the parties and is designed to help litigants resolve the issues between them fairly and quickly. Currently, the parties will be attending the mediation via video conference or other remote technology. Typically, at the start of the pretrial conference, the presiding judge will explain the process to all the litigants and introduce all the mediators present. Then, the judge will call each case individually and ask the person being sued, the defendant, if he or she owes the money that the person suing, the plaintiff, claims is owed. If the defendant says no or says he or she owes some but not all of the money, the plaintiff claims is due, the judge is likely to schedule the parties for mediation. The mediation process enables the parties to confer fully about the case, negotiate details of a settlement, and it is hoped reach a resolution that will be written up by the mediator. Usually, this will be a stipulation for payments and will detail the amount of the debt the amount is being settled for, and the amount and frequency of the payments. If the parties reach an agreement that requires the defendant to pay all or part of the plaintiff's claim, the plaintiff will also be able to recover from the defendant the court costs he or she incurred in bringing the lawsuit. If the parties do not settle the case at mediation, the judge will set the matter for trial. It is important that the parties understand that at trial they cannot introduce a letter statement, estimate, or affidavit from a witness because those things cannot be questioned by the other side. 
the parties will have to bring all the witnesses and evidence that they wish to introduce to the trial. Also, if a party is claiming that the work was done carelessly or incorrectly or negligently, in addition to the party's own testimony, the party may need to call an expert witness to testify in support of that claim. If a party has witnesses that he or she wants to call and is concerned that the witness may not appear voluntarily, the party should go to the clerk of court and arrange to have the subpoena issued and served to require that a witness appear. You will be required to submit to the court any evidence you want the court to consider at least two business days in advance of your trial, with a copy also provided to the other side at the same time. This includes any documents, photographs, or any other evidence. At the trial, the plaintiff, the person suing, will be required to present evidence first, since the plaintiff has the burden of proving his or her claim by a preponderance of the evidence. That is, the evidence makes it more likely than not that the claim is valid. The judge may ask questions of any witness and may permit the defendant to ask questions of the witnesses. After the plaintiff presents all of his or her evidence and witnesses, it will then be the defendant's turn to testify and present evidence as well. All parties and witnesses must direct their testimony to the judge, not to each other, and are also expected to let every witness testify without interruption. After the judge has heard all the evidence, the judge will issue a ruling. That may happen in open court, immediately after the trial has concluded, and at the time the judge may offer the parties another opportunity to enter a payment plan to avoid entry of a judgment. Or the judge may take the matter under advisement and enter a judgment at a later date that reflects which party won the case and how much the losing party must pay the winning party. In addition, the judge may order the losing party to fill out a fact information sheet that contains personal information designed to enable the judgment holder to collect on the judgment. It is important that you understand that the court will not collect the judgment for you. If you are the winning party, you must pay to record the judgment and you will need to seek collection remedies, such as garnishment to get the money you are owed. You can find out more about how to collect your judgment from the Broward County Clerk's Office. Good luck with your small claims adventure.